Yeah, welcome back to my channel. On this episode, I'm gonna build a camera mount, like a telescopic one for my bird's eye view. I'm gonna mount it in the back of the kayak that I have better view. All right, let's see what parts we're gonna need to build this mount. So I ordered from Amazon this monopod. It's a 72 inch long. One. Then we're gonna need two of the Scotty uh, rod holder replacement posts. Two of them. Then I have the Scotty gear head track adapter that I can slide in the track. And a set of slip discs. So somebody's not familiar with slip discs, let me explain how it works. So, Basically when you have the gear tracks together and you want to adjust them, you have to get the screw almost all the way out, you can do it. So now when you put the slip discs in between, like this. Basically now when you have it tight, so now you want to adjust, just loosen it up and it's, it's easy to adjust how you want it and then you tie it back up. And this is how the slip is. So then we need kind of a swivel head for the top, you can adjust and then this part goes on top here. And the more angles to adjust the camera, how to make it. And yeah, that's it. So first what we have to do is out of here and then I have to figure out how to mount the screw in here to mount this little head on top. So let me try to use the vice grip if it doesn't work I might have to use my vice So I'm gonna try them out in, in my vice. So as you can see, I got the piece out. Well, I was hoping to have the plastic stay in there, but it didn't work out. So basically now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna use one of this round head screw. It's a one quarter by 20. And 
then we're gonna shove it in here and pull this epoxy. So, but the screw is too long, so now what we're gonna do is screw here. So now we have to see how far it goes in. And now we can measure from the mark to the top, mark it down here and cut it off. And then uh, you know how much we have to cut off. Alright, so this one will be basically going in here. gonna use epoxy fill it in and let it dry. So before we glue the top in, let's do the bottom one first because this one has to be straight to dry. So yeah let's take the bottom piece out. Got the track extension one goes in here. So like you can see there is some ridges. You might have to bend a little bit out of it. But actually not. Slides in. So now we're gonna let's fit it in here. There was only one screw in here, I might put two more in to get a better one. Now the bottom piece is connected, so then this other part will be going here. And, uh, yeah. So now let's work on the top. So basically, I marked it. Then I need to cut it off, but I don't cut it off yet because I have more room to set it up straight instead of a short screw. So I was planning to use the, the magnet epoxy, but then I found some uh, JB belt, so I'm probably going to use the JB belt. And uh, yeah, let's mess it up. Yeah.
So it is the next day. As you can see, I cut the bolt already off. And it's firm in and it's dry. So now what is left is to put the swivel head on top. Touch the camera mount. Now for the bottom part, I'm gonna put the split discs back in. Alright, let's put it on the kayak on the back and see how it looks. Just the camera mount if it's fully extended and then we can still adjust how we need it all right let's try turn it on and see how it looks on there yeah this is now the clip for uh, from the camera we mounted on top of there well let's see if I stand up how it's gonna look like and uh, yeah I have two cameras like this one will be on the chest and one will be on the telescope mount and I have this remote that I can press for picture for recording and when I press record it will start recording both camera at the same time I don't have to reach up all the time and turn on and off and uh, yeah so thanks for watching uh, like subscribe and hit the bell and see you in the next one